<laughs> We're here today to celebrate the joining of Bill and Lori in marriage. Just as their relationship developed through the thousands of letters they exchanged over the course of more than 15 years, we start with a passage that the German poet Rilke wrote in a letter. The point of marriage is not to create a quick commonality by tearing down all boundaries. On the contrary, a good marriage is one in which each partner appoints the other to be the guardian of his solitude, and thus they show each other the greatest possible trust. A merging of two people is an impossibility, and where it seems to exist, it is a hemming in, a mutual consent that robs one party or both parties of their fullest freedom and development. But once the realization is accepted that even between the closest people infinite distances exist, a marvelous living side by side can grow for them, if they succeed in loving the expanse between them, which gives them the possibility of always seeing each other as a whole and before an immense sky. And now Bill would like to read from the 983rd letter of Bill to Lori. You are so much a part of my life such an integral part that I can't imagine it without you. I missed you long before I ever knew you, but I didn't understand what that feeling meant. I just knew it hurt. Now, I feel like a long orphaned piece of a jigsaw puzzle, which has finally been connected to another piece in a perfect fit. Maybe the two connected pieces will never fit into the rest of the puzzle. Maybe that's just too much to ask for. But the sense of relief, just to be connected to something so correctly, is beyond description. And now, uh, from Lori, a reading from the 859th letter of Lori to Bill. I've never felt loved in the way that I feel loved by you. It's so rare and precious that I wholly believe it is just yours, that Bill loving Lori is a singularity. I don't understand it, but I know it has moved me, transformed me in ways. I feel that we're a great novel, and each letter we write, each conversation we have, colors our lives, imbues them with richness and depth. We are more human every day. We are becoming more real. Our letters are pieces of the story we're uncovering, and each piece feels right without explanation, because it's already inside us. We can only acknowledge and celebrate it. Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> And now it comes time for the expression of intent. So, first of all, do you, Bill, take Lori to be your wife? I do. And do you, Lori, take Bill to be your husband? I do. Recognizing the external conditions in life will not always be smooth, and that internally your own minds and emotions will sometimes get stuck in negativity, do you pledge to see all these circumstances as a challenge to help you grow? to open your hearts, to accept yourselves and each other, and to generate compassion for others who are suffering? Do you pledge to avoid becoming narrow, closed, or opinionated, and to help each other see various sides of situations? We, we do. Understanding that just as we are a mystery to ourselves, each other person is also a mystery to us. Do you pledge to seek to understand yourselves, each other, and all living beings, to examine your own minds continually, and to regard all the mysteries of life with curiosity and joy. We do. Do you pledge to preserve and enrich your affection for each other and to share it with all beings? To take the loving feelings you have for one another and your vision of each other's potential and inner beauty as an example, and rather than spiraling inwards and becoming self-absorbed, to radiate this love for all beings? We, we do. do. And now, the vows. Today we dedicate ourselves completely to each other with body, mind, and speech. In every situation of this life, in wealth or poverty, in health or sickness, in happiness or difficulty, we will help each other to develop our hearts and minds, cultivating compassion, generosity, ethics, patience, enthusiasm, concentration, and wisdom. As we undergo the various ups and downs of life, we will seek to transform them into the path of love, compassion, joy, and equanimity. The purpose of our relationship 
will be to attain enlightenment by perfecting our kindness and compassion toward all beings. Now Bill and Lori will exchange rings. With this, what are you doing with that ring? With this ring, I take you as my wife. With this ring, I take you as my husband. With the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church and the state of Missouri, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss.